warmed up his gun. And in the other end zone, a man rose to his feet. Tim, the diehard Packer fan, knew this was destiny. Shirtless, painted green and gold from his forehead to his hiney. The smile slowly left his face. He said, someone hold my lighting. He wet his finger, felt the air, a headwind turned their way. Far he thought, he's got the gun, but he needs our help, Yahe. He lumbered down the steps. His mission now was clear. Neutralize the headwind or wait another year. And as he stepped onto the field, security stopped him short. They asked him who he was. He said, I'm Tim, I'm from up north. Whereabouts they fired back, Sheboygan, he revealed. What do you catch? He said, mostly pike. They let him on the field. As far barked out the signals, Tim chugged a giant beer. And then another, and one after that, his tension filled the air. The ball was snapped, a route was run, Favre unleashed the ball. Never had there been a spiral so clean and far and tall. But then it hit the headwind and started coming back. Tim felt a rumble in his gut. Now was time to act. The burp came out so long and hard, the Yukon felt a breeze. A tidal wave of beer and brats and half a wheel of cheese. The blimp was lost for seven days. Skybox glass was shattered. An Oshkosh woman lost her teeth. Tim's stomach left in tatters. But the pass came down, the catch was made, and just before Tim died, he was heard to say, The pack are back. Oh, for crying. His headstone reads, Tim gave his life. Never did he wince. He tailgates high above old Lambo, grilling brats with Vince.